Hi, welcome to Cobra Kitchen, and thanks for joining us today. We're going to make one of our favorite desserts today, brownies. These are fudgy, spicy, cinnamon, chili, bacon brownies. How much goodness can you put in one dessert? So first we're going to make the bacon, and our favorite way of making bacon is in the microwave. It's easier, it's less messy, and the paper towel absorbs a lot of the fat, so to the extent that you can say bacon is healthier, it's healthier. So let's start with three slices of bacon, and I'm gonna put them on a double uh, piece of paper towel on this progressive microwave grill. While we're waiting for the bacon to cook, we're going to chop our nuts. And for that, I like to use this progressive nut chopper. It just makes it very easy. It's got a lid so that it doesn't go all over the place. And you just crank this until the nuts are all down and the nuts stay in the bottom. Also, while we're waiting, we're going to measure out the chocolate and the butter and get that ready to microwave. So we're using the Ascali scale which takes up very little room and it's got a tear function so you can put a bowl on it and we want five ounces of chocolate. It doesn't have to be super chopped up, just sort of chopped up should pretty much get us there and there we go then we've got um, one stick plus two tablespoons of butter and what's nice about these bowls from Norpro and it's a nested set of three bowls these are the other ones is that these can go in the microwave unlike a melamine bowl so you can start your process and finish it in the same bowl. Now I'll add the spices. So first we want to add a half a tablespoon of chipotle chili. And one of the things I love about this progressive set of measuring spoons is that they have a half a tablespoon. So in that goes, which means it's going to be nice and spicy. Then I need a teaspoon of cinnamon and this is from Penzi's their Vietnamese cinnamon is one of the best cinnamons we've ever found it's so good so there we go with the cinnamon and then we need some salt and we take a teaspoon of salt so let's bring the teaspoon back Salt goes in there. And now this is ready to go into the microwave as soon as the bacon comes out. Okay, the bacon is out of the microwave. The butter and chocolate is in the microwave, melting. So we have our bacon done. And what we need to do now is just crumble it or tear it up into one of our other bowls. So now we're gonna add the nuts in here. We also need to prepare our pan. So this is a um, silicone baking pan from Trudeau. It's structured so it doesn't flop around which is great and because it's got a really slick interior instead of having to butter and flour it all I do is just spray a little bit of oil in here mostly it releases by itself okay we've got our butter and our chocolate and our spices all melted together and the fact that we didn't have to melt this into something different saves us a step so next we want to put in a cup and a half of sugar so we'll take our sugar canister from progressive 
And we've got this wonderful new set of measuring cups from RSVP that come in all the good sizes. So we need a cup and a half. And the easiest way to do that is to use a three quarter cup twice. That means we don't have to use two different cups, a cup and a half cup, or use a half cup three times. This is really the simplest way to do it. So, two of these give you a cup and a half. And we want to mix up our batter. And you don't even have to beat the eggs first. You can just add them in and then mix them in with your spatula. Just make sure that you break up the yolks a little bit. And you want to get a nice, even mixture at this point. There you go. Now, fold in a cup of flour. And while you're folding your flour in, at the same time, you can fold your nuts and bacon in. So add that right in. What's nice about these bowls is that you can squeeze them to form a pouring spout so that you can pour very easily. Now, all you do is just squeeze and pour that into the bowl. And we're ready to go into a 350 oven for 40 minutes. Now, while it's still warm, what you want to do is top it with a mixture of powdered sugar and chipotle. And we're going to do that with this wonderful cool tool from OXO called the dusting wand. You can see that it opens to um, fill and then it closes so that you can sprinkle. So we're going to fill it with a little bit of powdered sugar. And then to avoid cross contamination, I'll use one of the measuring spoons to put some Chipotle in, close it up, shake it a little bit to mix, and then turn it over and sprinkle it all over the brownies. Doesn't that look good enough to eat? Okay, we're going to come back in about 20 minutes after we let this cool. And then we'll try one. We're ready to unmold and cut the brownies. So this is the beauty of this pan. Look at this. So it just comes right out. So what I'm going to do is just take this, flip it over. Look how beautiful that is, we'll flip it back over. Actually, what I'll do is take another cutting board so that I don't mess it up. Flip it back over, and there are your brownies. Now the proof is in the tasting. So let's cut. We don't need to cut all of them, but we'll cut a nice square to taste it. plate because after all we're not savages and here we go oh my god this is amazing it's easy 
it's foolproof. It's the most amazing brownie you'll ever have. Thank you for joining us at Colebrook Kitchen.